Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have water, so we have two kinds of water, hard water and soft water. You must have learned this in class 10, but we'll do a little more deep on this. So we have something on hard water and soft water. We'll tell you how to differentiate also. So rainwater is the most pure form of water, right? It's almost pure form of water. It's almost pure, actually not most pure, it's almost pure. Distilled water is the most pure form of water and rainwater is almost equal to distilled water. It's almost pure form of water, whatever you get. But when it comes down, it, it uh, reacts with a lot of, uh, what do you call, elements in the air and get uh, these uh, elements get mixed in the water and so it doesn't, it, it, uh, it loses purity. So we say almost, but if you distill the water, that is almost, that is 100% pure water. But rainwater is also almost, almost pure water. And if you see, it's a good solvent. So when the rainwater flows, right, from mountains, let this be mountain, from mountain, it flows down the river, it collects material. So nearby, right, all the materials are there, right, some some uh, factory, let's suppose there's a factory here, and this factory also pollutes, and some people take bath, some people swim, so all these things, and some soil goes down, all this, uh, elements get dissolved in water and that's why you get some taste in water and if you see the different place has different taste of water if you go to Delhi the water taste is different if you go to Punjab the water taste is different if you go to America the water taste is different if you go to Tamil Nadu taste is different right the taste varies even from city to city the taste varies because uh, of the different uh, element that is mixed with water right so and water is a very very good solvent it's a very good solvent and the moment it flows it uh, dissolves a lot of salts they are two different salts which cause how calcium and magnesium. We'll, we'll talk about these. If calcium and magnesium is added, when it is uh, flowing, the water becomes hard. We'll, we'll discuss this more. Right? So, the presence of calcium and magnesium salt makes water hard in the form of hydrogen carbonate, chloride, or sulfate. Please note, it is either always calcium and magnesium on this side and carbonates, hydrogen carbonates, chlorides and sulfur on this side. These two are the culprits. These cations, calcium and magnesium cations and bicarbonates, chlorine and sulfate ions, chloride or you can say chloride sulfate ions. So these are the cause of hardness, right? And you see this is a tap and if you see this, these are my uh, calcium and magnesium salts it has got deposited here after a long use because this is hard water since this is hard water these ions get used you must have seen in your house also sometimes what happens is all the pipes used to, gets blocked the pipe gets blocked and after uh, two three years uh, a few since the pipe gets blocked and then uh, your dad must be calling plumber and that guy either change the pipe or clean the pipe right so why? Because these, uh, we generally use hard water. We don't use very soft water in India at least uh, for, a, for a purpose, uh, daily use purpose. So this this has uh, all calcium and magnesium salt and they get deposited here. Also in the pipes, also if you, must, if you open the pipe, you will see the, in this cross sections, all the calcium and magnesium ions get deposited. Sometimes it is so much that it, it chokes the pipes. Correct. So anyway, leave that. So how do you find if the water is hard or soft? A very good test. The test is hard water will not give lather in the soap. This is the lather you see in the lather which you get in the soap. If water is soft, you will get lather easily with soap. Right? We have the soap, you just rub your hand with some water, you'll get soap. If it is soap, if it is lather, water is soap. If there is no lather, the water is hard. Right? So we will have we'll, we'll talk about some of the methods where we want to uh, remove the hardness of water because it is required. Else, in detergent, if you're using hard water, you're wasting a lot of soap because you won't get leather. Correct? So, leather is required to clean the soap, clean the clothes. And if you don't get leather, you don't you, you won't be able to clean the clothes. So, it is necessary to remove the hardness of the water. So, we'll talk about those things later. Just now understand that a very simple test to find if water is hard or not is to mix with the soap. If you get the Lather, that means the water is soft. If you don't get lather, that means the water is hot. Correct. And also, the water that is free from calcium and magnesium ion is called soft water because there is no 
cations, calcium, magnesium cations, water is soft. If it has, it is hard. Correct. That's why you see the soft water easily gives lather in the soap. So that is all about hard and soft water. So the question is why hard waters they don't form lather with soap? Why hard water they don't form lather with the soap? I have soap, I have water. If I have hard water, there is very, very less soap. Why? Because the hard water forms scum or precipitate with the soap. When you have hard water, hard water is nothing but calcium and magnesium and So if you see, this is my hard water. Sorry, this is my soap. And this is my hard water. This can be calcium or magnesium. So if I mix soap with this hard water, which is calcium and magnesium ions, this calcium and magnesium ions react with soap to form this. This is a precipitate. In solute, it comes out. And sodium ion is right. This calcium and magnesium ion is not helping soap to behave in the way it is supposed to behave. It is kicking sodium out from this and is forming a insoluble precipitate. Thus, if you see just because of this, a lot of this soap is wasted. If there is no calcium and magnesium ion and the water is soft, then soap will perform the task it is supposed to. Right? You know how it is done, right? This is a big uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic and hydrophilic and will like uh, what is cling water and hydrophilic will cling dust and then it will uh, form dust uh, balls. We, we have learned this in, in the previous videos. If you have doubt, you can just watch the previous videos where we explain this. But the moment you have calcium and magnesium ion, the soap is ex expected to form in, a, in a, a specific way, it is not able to perform because the calcium and magnesium ions kicking out the sodium ion from this and forming a precipitate. So a lot of soap is getting wasted, right? Thus, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.